Hey guys, Mike here from Fat Cow Fishing. I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I have a lot of people asking, you know, they say, um, you know, your product's very durable, but how do I get them off? And, um, you know, there's a couple different ways or, I guess, tricks to using our product. And I just wanted to share them with you. So, first of all, you'll notice with the different strips that we offer, uh, some of them have a pre-punched hole, kind of like this fork tail here. has a little pre-punched hole right at the top there. And then you have the skinny tail and the split tail do not. So we leave that blank. So with the fork tail, the hole is really designed just to suggest hook placement. Um, it suggests where to put the hook for the most durability. Now, once the fork tail is on the bucktail, it doesn't really make it easier to get off. You know, having that, that pre-punched hole, you're still going to have to get it over the barb. So there's a little bit of a trick to this. And if you watch, I'll show you how to do it. For anybody that used to use the Uncle Josh pork rind, you'll know if you actually turn the strip before you put it down to the barb. See the barb right there? You actually turn it. So I'm going to see if I could show you how I do this. Turn toward the back. And before you get over the barb, pull towards the back of the hook as much as you can. And then pull down. And it should pop right off. See that? Now, it leaves the strip perfectly intact still. Now you could still use this one. Another thing you can do, especially if you're a catch and release guy, you can actually crush the barb with a pair of pliers so that it'll slide right on and off without any trouble. But I suggest if you're going to be using our product often and you don't want to crush the barb, you get used to doing it this way. So I'll just show you again with the split tail. I'm going to actually show you start to finish. I got a little bit of a bigger hook here. And I got the split tail, which does not have the pre-punched hole. Now, here's another little tip. For the most durability, you're going to want to put this, I want to say about a quarter inch down, right here. If you put it too close to the edge, you're going to decrease the durability. So you're going to want to put it right around there. You just start it out and then pull. And now this hook has a giant barb. Now without crushing that down, I'm going to show you how to get it over the barb. So first you're going to want to pull back the bucktail hair. You want to turn it, like we said. If you could see that there, we're just going to turn as much as we can and put our thumb right in there. And now you're going to push back. Let me just see if I can show you and do it at the same time. You're going to push back and then pull down. And you'll see right there, came right off. And this can go right back on if you want to. So there you have it. <clears throat> Thanks for watching my video, guys. Be sure to subscribe. For more information, you can visit us at www.fatcowfishing.com. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook.